Did you hear that? That was a terrible noise behind me. Hi, I'm Robin from Southern Latitudes, and I just wanted to let you know about the breach today. No, not the one at the Capitol, but the one in the coop. Okay, first let me lead the story with the fact that everybody is okay. I still have eight hens this morning. But when we woke up this morning, Jack and I looked out, and there's already three hens outside. I don't know why. I knew I hadn't opened the door, not this one, and I hadn't opened up the little guillotine door out to their back pen in, you know, 12 hours. So anyhow, we rushed out here, we uh, examined all around the coop, and look what we found. Okay, see, we found, yes, a massive breach right here. And there's also a hole here. Do you see that? I've had an armadillo or something coming around the yard and I knew about it. But I have not seen this mess at all until this morning. And I also have a big one over here. So, well, about a foot over here. So, today, the game plan for Jack and I is not to put any more money into this dilapidated coop but yet we're still not quite ready to build the new coop although we're getting very close so what we're going to do is we're going to come on in and we're going to go ahead and take the centerpiece hold on let me shut that we're going to take the centerpiece here from when they were chicks and this was their little baby run in here. If you were with us during the spring, you saw that. So we're gonna take this piece out and we're gonna go ahead and reinforce all down here for today so they can be safe by the time they go to bed tonight. Okay, and the other thing I wanna show you is a little update on the new watering system. It is a filthy mess because they've been in here. Oh, they love to stand on top of it, which is annoying me. But anyhow, um, They've been doing lots of dust baths in here. It's been very dry around in Florida uh, for a couple of weeks now. We're in our dry season. But anyhow, they absolutely love drinking out of here. It's a gravity-fed water system, and that's great. As long as you keep, you know, at least this much water in here. So if you have a little bit, don't leave it like that. Your hens will drink it down. So anyhow, let's get on with fixing the coop today. We want to make sure everybody is safe, is safe and secure and that we do not have any predator issues tonight. Thank God we had no predator issues last night. Do you have anything you'd like to say? No, okay. Well, she's shy, so let's get going. Julia, are you sure you don't have anything to say? Anybody want to speak into the microphone? Oh, here comes Miss Frizzle. She always has a good word. What were you gonna say? Oh. No? You don't want to be caught on the camera? Uh-oh. Oh. You're shy? I get that. But you're still complaining. What did he look like? He had a mask on. So it's a raccoon. Huh? Anybody? Anybody?
So what we did is we put a, a hardware cloth strip across the entire bottom, even though the back half was not breached. But um, we did that, secured it, hammered it. Uh, he wired up the top half. And then he had one of these big extra boards. I think that's a one by six or something. It's really heavy. And he just put it there just, you know, to kind of give it a line uh, and security. So anyhow, let's see how the girls like their new temporary fix. All right, girls, you ready? It's the big reveal. They're like, no thanks. <laughs> Not in danger for the moment, but see these sharp edges. I want to make sure I do something with those. I might even just pull this whole piece out, but at least they're secure for tonight. This is Robin reporting for Southern Lu <laughs> This is Robin reporting for Southern Latitudes <laughs> Station. <laughs> Take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>